combined with the highest standards of technical innovation. And this, of course, led to success in all manner of major competitions and major sport of all kinds. Bristol Cars has changed hands on a number of occasions since then, and uh, times have not always been so good. But now in Camcorp's ownership, and in partnership with Fraser Nash Research, our sister company, there's every reason to believe that Bristol Cars is on the threshold of a new golden age. Uh, we hope to reveal a little of this to you uh, this morning. Uh, as you can imagine, I'm extremely keen to see that the Bristol Mark flourishes again. And so I've been working closely with Julian Ramshaw uh, here in the showrooms at Kensington High Street uh, with his colleagues uh, in the workshops at Brentford and also, of course, in product development uh, at the company's headquarters in Surrey. Indeed, as Sir George says, it's a hugely, hugely interesting and exciting time for Bristol Cars. We're nearing the completion of phase one of what we like to call Bristol is Back campaign, with substantial capital investment in our various departments and especially in product development. There's a lot going on and a lot more to come for Bristol Cars. So I think sort of what everyone's probably picked up from that last bit is, is product development. Um, can you tell us some more about what product is being developed? Uh, indeed I can. The principal announcement uh, that we want to make today is that to celebrate our platinum anniversary in the motor industry next year, Bristol Cars will be launching a brand new model. Uh, as you might expect from a 70th anniversary car, it'll be making reference to our celebrated past in overall design and quality, but will look forward uh, to the future very much in terms of technology. And I think there are some, some images. Thank you. Yeah, we're partially uh, revealing it here today, and as you can see from the images from the flyer that uh, um, Tasmin and uh, some of the guys on our stand will be handing out, um, it's just a small glimpse of the car. Um, it will be officially unveiled next year uh, when it will make its full world debut. And, uh, and limited numbers, I, I understand. Uh, indeed it will be. It will be a very exclusive machine, a connoisseur's choice, uh, and made indeed in, in limited numbers. Uh, as we've said, it'll make reference to our rich and colourful history, but with uh, an entirely modern execution. It'll celebrate the best of British luxury craftsmanship, and it will be engineered to excite. <laughs> um, and of course, you think of Bristol cars, and you can't help but think of that sort of wonderful showroom in Kensington, and I gather there's sort of the more developments with that? That's absolutely so. Um, since Bristol Cars came into its present ownership in uh, 2011, uh, millions of pounds have been spent behind the scenes and certainly will continue to be so. Uh, plans are underway to completely refurbish our landmark Bristol Cars showroom in Kensington High Street, and this will continue to house a, a world beating selection of meticulously restored classic Bristol cars as you see. Uh, over there. For the sale of the new car, however, uh, we've taken a lease on a sparkling new showroom in an award-winning development which is now just being completed directly across the street uh, from our present one. Um, and there are, there are things going on in Brentford as well, I gather. Yes, there are. Uh, we also have a new specialist and dedicated parts, service and restoration centre in Brentford, just a few miles from here in West London. We doubled its size earlier this year and it's very quickly establishing itself as the leading Bristol car centre with hundreds of vehicles already passing through the doors. Right, so there's clearly a lot going on. Anything else you can let us in on? Well, yes, there is actually um, a major development. Uh, in addition to the 70th anniversary car which we've just announced, we are also delighted to be able to confirm today that development is now well advanced on an all-new mega-luxury Bristol Hybrid Grand Tourer. Patented technology from Bristol sister company, uh, Fraser Nash Research, will underpin the hybrid drivetrain of what will be a revolutionary car. Anything you'd like to add? It also spearheads our philosophy of the Bristol brand. We believe that the automotive landscape is changing, particularly at the premium and luxury end of the market. 
The definitions of exclusive are changing. People's expectations are changing. We plan to introduce a uniquely efficient and exciting motor car that will appeal to the upper end of the spectrum with full in-house development utilising technology developed by Fraser Nash over 25 years and will be combined with the very best of British craftsmanship and engineering. But that's really all I can say at the moment. OK, so lots of exciting stuff sort of to come in the next sort of months and years, but sort of back to here and now, I've, I've had a wander around your, your very nice stand just over there, and there's, there's various bits of merchandise, and I think I see the stripes of um, uh, Paul Smith on some of the, uh, the bits. Is that, is that correct? Well, yes, indeed. Paul Smith uh, has been a Bristol owner for an enthusiast for many years, and we're extremely proud that once again he's chosen to feature a Bristol car uh, alongside a Mini on his luxurious leather bureau items and his accessories. We're, we are also uh, launching a brand new uh, range of Bristol fashion merchandise, uh, which is on display here this week. It's an exclusive range of quality goods and includes clothing and even some really lovely little model Bristol cars. All ship shape and Bristol fashion then. Um, so you're not really giving an awful lot away about the, um, the, the Platinum um, Anniversary Editions, but so can I ask you a few sort of just quick fire questions, just sort of straight off. Um, so where's it going to be built? It will be, be built in the UK. Okay, excellent news. Um, how much is it going to cost? Uh, less than 200,000. Excellent. And uh, how many are going to be built? Well, it's a celebration model and a reference to Bristol's, Bristol's rich and exciting history with a modern execution. Extremely collectible and a connoisseur's choice. And as we've said, it will be a very exclusive car with a small production run. It will, in effect, be Bristol at its best. Well, gentlemen, thank you very much indeed. And um, I implore you all to go and have a look at the lovely stand just over there. And um, we look forward to what's to come from Bristol in the, the months and, and years to come. Thank you very much.